Today a Black Cat JB76 aka JB200 sometimes they have a B at the end indicating bass and a M at the end indicating mobile the uh, two piece two two Black Cat small amplifier or modulator um, uses two eighty four seventeens and um, this one's on so I'm gonna be a little careful in it but um, see that white thing to the left with the adjustment screw there that's the load as in tune and load of the output of amplifier and if you see those hard to see let me see if I can zoom in those little red uh, things under the, the red coil um, those are fixed capacitors silver mica and that's your tune it's not adjustable so it's there with those two caps it's just fixed not adjustable um, back here if you see that uh, coil with the red uh, wire around it that's the input um, well actually that sets your um, power out but it uses by adjusting the input going in um, what you do I'm going to key it down is you key it and you set the input or that drive in the back until the uh, dead key hits that line there and that's the max you want to set it and you can go down from there but you don't want to go past it or else you start having problems with the amp but what that actually is it's not a bias or a screen or a voltage adjust it changes the um, input going into the amp and the less input the less power the more input the more power so that's the way Black Cat does it and if you see that big brown resistor right there that helps with the SWR because if it didn't have that resistor um, the input SWR would be super high when you're uh, setting it to the line instead of setting it for the lowest SWR and then over here right quick is the uh, power supply for this amp it's got the transformer on the other side and this is the um, cover off inside the actualytic caps are the black ones the original ones were a lot bigger but they've been replaced the blue Resistors on top are bleeders. This has heavy duty bleeders. That's factory. And uh, your power supply diodes. And since this is a Tetro amp, this has stuff over here for your negative bias. And the stuff over there, that resistor and all that, that goes to the screen. That's half high voltage. So back there is the circuit breaker instead of a fuse so if you blow the circuit breaker just uh, push it in and uh, it resets the amp and on the front you got uh, standby and uh, operate this has no SSB delay switch what it does it has a cap in it that adds a kinda like a little bit of a medium delay See, it takes like maybe half a second, a second for it to unkey that relay. That's the SSB automatic delay, which is, you know, a little long for AM and a little short for SSB, but it's a compromise, and that way you don't have to worry about turning SSB on and off. That's uh, what the radio's putting into this amp. Three and uh, three quarter watts. That's a 1.9 input SWR. I explained that over here with the set the line. And this is the output of the amp going into a dummy load. It's keying about 38. It's made to key, you know, up to 40 or below. Audio. Audio. And it's talking about 90, close to 100 on RMS. And again, this is calibrated to a bird. And this one, the tubes are a little flat, or else it'd swing a lot more. Audio. Audio. That's on peak. So it's doing about 140. 
peak. And again, uh, if I had uh, new 8417s in it, it'd probably do two and a quarter. But uh, 8417 tubes are very expensive. Anyway, that's it for this one. Black Cat uh, JB76, a.k.a. JB200. Bye.